Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program. Now, before we get started today, I do have to apologize a little bit. It's going to be a, a bit of a short episode today. Well, most likely, at least. I am feeling a bit under the weather, as you may or may not be able to tell from my voice. I am quite congested. So... <laughs> Uh, what I want to do today is continue on with the space plane hangar. I've been playing around with some of the other stock planes, as well as trying to build some other ones of my own. But this one right here, the last episode I did the XA-01, uh, which went well, but it wasn't that great of a plane, not very well balanced. So I went on and made this XA-02, and, I gotta say, I'm quite pleased with this plane. It is a, <laughs> a definite improvement over the Dash Zero One. It's got much wider sort of wingspan to it. It has more a lift area. It does use the larger engines, which ones are they, they call the turbojet engines. It uses those rather than just the basic jet engine. And thanks to some of the suggestions from people on the comments and also on the Reddit post for the video, I put these fins sort of straight up. Why am I suddenly forgetting the term for what that's called in actuality? But nonetheless, those tail fins are now vertical rather than the sort of angled that they were on the XA-01. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with this design. I did do a short flight with it earlier, just basically taking off to see if it, you know, could take off, because <laughs> probably about half the planes I've designed so far in this hangar, they don't take off. <laughs> so yes, I did do uh, that, but I haven't flown it properly yet, or at least as properly as I can do. So, let's take this baby out and see if this design, along with what I learned from flying in the last episode, has actually paid off. So, let's give it a go. Alright, we are on the runway now, and we have Bartman Kerman, who I believe was our pilot in the last episode. Though, uh, this is one thing I wish the devs would work on. This seems to be the only capsule that you can't see out of. <laughs> it's just a metal shell. I really wish they would improve this one, which I'm kind of surprised they haven't yet, considering they did add a couple of new capsules, which have interior views, but that one, not yet. It's a bit strange, but oh well, they've done great with the rest of the game, so I'm not complaining. But yeah, let's take this thing off, as it already seems to be rolling under its own willpower right now. So, <laughs> uh, let's give it a go. Ooh, ooh, I did not mean to hit that far. Oh, this is not a good start. Let's try and level it out. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was meaning to hit S, but instead I was hitting A, which turns it to the left. Okay, take off, take off, take off. Ooh, okay, all right. All right, a much smoother takeoff than the previous aircraft. Landing gear is now up. Let's angle ourselves a bit more onto the 90 point. This one still isn't entirely well balanced because if I turn off the SAS, it likes to dip down. Uh, but you know what? I can live with that. And some of my other designs that I've worked on so far have had the opposite problem. If I turn off the SAS, they like to flip around and around and around, and it's just not good. <laughs> I'm not a very good pilot, so when it does that, I basically just, well, give up. So, well, this pilot's dead. <laughs> And i rather not kill Bartman here, though he does not seem very happy to be in this plane. But we've gone quite a bit out. It is staying quite nice and straight. Granted, it is with the SAS. But with the control surfaces, how they are now, it definitely is a noticeable improvement 
over the previous plane that I flew on my last episode. So let's, whoop, let's try and turn around. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Whoop. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, okay, okay. That that worked out. I had a little bit of a scare there, because since I was facing away from it, I kind of forgot which direction I was pointing with the keys. So let's try and see if we can land this thing. I think I'm kind of coming at it at a too odd of an angle. But this certainly does control a lot better than the XA-1. This is... whoop. <laughs> right as I say that, I start having some issues. But hey, that's pilot error, not uh, plane error. Okay, whoop. SAS on. Oh man, the runway is over there. Whoop, whoop. Turn up a bit more. Ooh, I did not like that flashing on the screen. I don't know if I'm going to make it in this pass. <laughs> As I overdid the turn, and... Yeah, we're not going to be landing on the runway on this go. Well, maybe. Ooh. Oh, let's turn on the... No, no, we're not. <laughs> ah, that's disappointing. Landing gear back up. Well... At least we can buzz the sight. Ooh, God. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Okay. I was not paying enough attention to what was going on. But yeah, this plane definitely does control a lot better. I am still an awful, awful pilot, though. So... <laughs> Uh, but it is a lot easier to control than the XA-01, which I'm very pleased about, so I did learn a bit with the design. I made sure that the center of thrust, center of mass, and center of lift had a good balance to them, which definitely is showing in how this thing is controlling. Okay. Now I'm gonna try something stupid. Let's try and flip this baby around. I don't know if I can actually do this with this plane. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There we go. We gained a lot of altitude that I didn't really care for, but oh well. Let's head back around. Well, we're still not going to be able to land. I was hoping to flip and maybe land this thing. But no, and oh man, okay. All right, I'm gonna try one more pass with this thing to see if I can line it up with the runway and actually land on the runway. If I can't, I will abandon the runway and just try and land anywhere I can, which I'm thinking will go well. But at the same time, yeah worries me. I don't know how this thing is going to deal with bumps in the ground or anything like that. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, let's try and... Here we go. A little bit more. Oop, too much, too much. I overcorrected. Okay, now let's set it to there. That seems like a good flight path, maybe? Okay, we're still a bit off, but not as bad as we were. Let's try and level this out a bit more so we're not gaining so much altitude. Actually, come down a bit. 
And I'm going to be stupid and try to do the flip again. But you know what? Eh. <laughs> it worked last time. I just was at a very bad angle for this thing. So we're going to try it again once we are a bit farther out. We are about five. Once we're about six kilometers out, I think that'll be good. Yeah, there we go. So let's punch this thing. I probably need full thrust to actually flip. Come on. There you go, buddy. There we go. A little more. Bartram doesn't look happy. Okay. Alright, now this is a better angle than we've been at so far. Though still not a good angle. Oh, man. I am just having no luck. Let's actually go to... Free cam. Whoop, oh, no, or not that button. Uh, yeah, free cam will be good. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I don't think we're going to actually make it to the runway here. <laughs> uh, you never know, though. Uh, we are very high. Yeah. Oh, oh god, oh god. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Come on, come on. No, we're not going to make the runway. <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, 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 ooh. Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Yeah. Oh, break, break, break. Oh, okay. Well, technically, technically, we touched the runway. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm going to count that as a win. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm actually surprised. I was able to land that thing at all because well I'm a horrible pilot <laughs> now let's see if I can hmm nope he's gonna fall yep he's gonna fall I was hoping maybe I could get on the wing there a bit there we go Bartman I'm sure is happy to get out of the aircraft My, yeah, this this went quite well. I am very pleased with this episode. Turn off the instruments there to get a nice look at the plane and our brave Bartman Kerman here. <laughs> uh, yeah, a, a much more successful flight than our previous XA-01 flight we had. This is a much more stable plane. My piloting is still awful, but I have certainly improved. I was able to land without blowing anything up, and technically I touched the runway, so I count that as a win. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if any of you have any suggestions for improvements to the plane, or any flying tips for myself, because I... I am awful at flying. Uh, I would uh, love to hear them. Um, and of course, I do hope that you all have enjoyed this episode and that you come back for the next, where I'm, I, I don't want to promise this, but I would like to try in the next episode to actually get a space plane into space. I may do it with one of the stock space planes. I don't know. I haven't decided on that yet, but I would like to try... We'll see, though. But I do hope you come back for it to check it out and see what it is that I actually end up doing. It'll probably involve me messing up. <laughs> yes. And, of course, as always, my friends, have a good one.